Hey my friends, welcome back to a new video. How many of you are feeling like you have so many things you like to do but you don't know where to start to actually get it to some great results? Like um, when you have maybe many hobbies and you would maybe like to transform something into a potential maybe business or side income or whatever you may be uh, wanting at this point and you don't know where to start. So I want to make this video because I've just seen a question in the comments and it inspired me to talk more about this. So the question was, I've been a stay-at-home mom for so many years. I don't know where to start. I like so many different things. I don't know where to focus. So many times we feel like that. Like we have too many things to do and we don't know where to start. And I'm doing many different things. And it was a big challenge in my life because I'm a creative person. So I like to have an open mind. In the past, um, I was avoiding certain structures and routines because uh, it kind of drove me away from being open and creative until I found the middle way. So what I've learned is that whatever we want to take to the next level, we first need to learn to take care of ourselves. Like if we don't have a good start of the day, which means that we prepare our minds for the day, we prepare our bodies for the day, it will be hard to focus on anything. So when we actually start our day, we'll find many things to do. We have to take care of our families and other responsibilities. And then we have maybe certain hobbies that we would actually like to take them to the next level. And we don't know where to start. Well, when we actually start a day with um, a great self-care, like for me, I start a day with a good meditation. Um, it's definitely from 30 minutes to one hour. So I wake up early. And then I do a workout, I go into the gym, I do a workout, and after that I start working on whatever I had prioritized for that day. So I've learned that um, if I really start my day with firstly a good self-care, I feel really, really charged when I start working when I come to my studio and I start creating, I feel really, really charged and it changed so much. So if you're not so familiar to this kind of um, morning routines, it may be a bit challenging at the beginning, but with any routine, it's the same way. You start, it's a bit messy at the beginning, maybe a bit confusing at the start, like, what am I doing? Maybe you don't feel confident in that because it's something new, but when you start building a momentum, you become better at it. But what happens, you soon, if not immediately, you start to feel the feedback of the change you've created in that uh, first beginning of a day. And when you start seeing that feedback, you notice, oh, I have more energy. I feel much better because I've done something for myself. I feel like, oh, I've moved my body, I did a good workout, I, I feel like I'm doing something great. Day hasn't even started and I already feel really, really great. What happens, the dopamine level and serotonin level in the brain rises, which makes us more focused, more alert. And with that greater focus and alertness, we start to feel like being in the peak state. And in that peak state, we look at our day and it's easy to set up certain goals and things we have to do and prioritize like, oh, this is what I like to do. This is what I like to do. This is what I have to do. And then we prioritize everything. This is what's the most important. This is the second importance, the third one, the fourth one, and so on. And we do those things. And what we can do today, 
we do it tomorrow we make some plans this is what helped me because you know as i'm making uh, my artwork and then i'm making videos out of that um, out of this paintings and there's already a lot of work filming and you know producing everything a lot of that and then you know making messages and finding topics and finding the right titles and you know there's a lot of different things to do but through the time we create a certain system that works for us as i've created a system that works for me now and people say to me whoa making daily videos it's a lot i say it's actually really easy you know when we, when you create a system that works for you it's easy it's not easy if you don't create a system that works for you that's why we find systems all around us in nature we find nature works in a certain system you see animals the flocks of birds and other animals they work in certain systems so we have to design a system it's a masculine energy that we have to embody so especially if uh, you are more creative person you are used to work in this feminine creative chaotic energy and chaotic around means something bad or negative it's just the aspect of us that um, constantly see possibilities and opportunities but don't really know how to organize them in a way that um, we can actually make something out of a mess and in that case we have to learn to discipline ourselves in a certain way so we start organizing our lives and making certain order that works for us and for creative people it's much harder for uh, more logical and organized people it's something natural and for those this type of people it's uh, a similar story in the side of creativity and openness and and having less of structure you know i have a friend of mine who's just the opposite of myself and he's really well organized he Need, needs to have everything in great order like everything in the box but when something is not going his way he's losing his mind and i'm always saying to him look just let it go just let it be and allow it for some time to you know to introduce yourself to the unknown sometimes you don't need to have all possible expectations and everything 100% well organized and prepared for whatever because life sometimes works completely unpredictably and if we stay open for the unknown unknown never disappoints us even though sometimes it may look like our life is falling apart only because something greater is rising on the other side but it's not uh, visible yet so we feel like it's just falling apart so it's important to have this type different type or types of people around us to learn from one another I have a really great relationship with that friend of mine because he's the opposite of myself and we can learn so much from each other I'm learning from him how to organize my life and he's learning from me how to be more open and a bit more creative how to get into the flow state uh, so he started writing a lot because of that and I was able to organize myself so I've started writing much more because of that as well so if you feel like you have too many things you like to do and you don't know where to start also surround yourself with people who are much more organized so you can recognize that actually you can do a lot if uh, you take the right action and once you take the right action you will also notice that um, results start finding you people that don't experience any results is because they're constantly jumping from one thing to another like if i would start working on a painting tomorrow and uh, the next day i would get a new idea and i would start working on that new idea 
and I would not finish it. And again, I would get a new idea and I would start working on that new idea and I would not finish it. My life would become messy and I would not make any videos. So I would not start anywhere and you would never know for myself. You would never come across my videos because there would be no videos, right? So when we start something, it's our responsibility to finish it. That's our responsibility. When we open certain doors, it's our responsibility then to step through them or close them and say, okay, it's not for me. But when you say it's not for me, you are saying no to growth. You're saying no to evolution. And when you say no to growth, you say yes to staying the same. But it's a life of stuckness because nature doesn't support staying the same. It will push you to change and to grow. And that feels unpleasant. That feels challenging because usually it happens the way that something that we consider as negative happens only so we make few new steps forward. So if you're a person that doesn't know where to start, like you have too many things to do and you don't know where to start, well, make a plan and start and whatever you start also finish it. It's the greatest possible advice. Whatever you start also finish it. Nowadays, many people are talking about ADHD. Having this type of brain that is hard for you to focus and often people then fall into this state of um, using it as an excuse like oh my life is messy because i have this adhd but whatever type of brain you have you're not defined by that you have this type of brain because you've been through something in the past and your body has evolved out of bodies of your parents and your ancestors so whatever you got and whatever you've made out of it it's still not something to be defined by it's you know like a sculpture a great artist would never look at the rock as the rock a great artist would already see a formed structure in the rock and therefore he will start working and shaping that rock until he he finally creates what he had seen in his mind. That's how we should look at our bodies and our brain and our heart and everything we are, ca we are carrying around. You know, when our lives are more messy and we have a lot of things to do, we may blame, oh, I have ADHD, it's hard for me to focus, so I'm more... Uh, I'm less organized and so on. Well, it just means you're a victim of your brain. Sure, you can find it as a great explanation why, how your brain uniquely works. So then you can adapt your lifestyle to work on your weaknesses. And maybe actually find a job that uh, suits you more. Because if you're less organized, it means you're more creative. It's not just, oh, because I'm like that, I'm, I'm more negative than positive. It's just that you're doing too many things that are not really um, feeding your potentials. And if you would do more things that are feeding your potentials, like maybe more creative work, you will notice that um, you will have more energy and more enthusiasm than to work on your weaknesses and to find someone who can help you on that. So don't fall into this trap of being defined by something you've heard only so you can stay the same as you are. The thing is that we're living in a time where there's more information that we can comprehend. So it's easy to be a victim of certain labels that we've heard. Just so we find reasons why not to work on ourselves. While on the other side, if we actually start working on ourselves, we will let go of any label. Because we will see ourselves as something that needs to be sculptured. We are all a work in 
process, a work in a, a process that is going into the direction of your vision. That's the process. And as you're walking towards there, you're making progress. So you become a work in progress, right? So you're, like I say to you often, you're a project of your life. And when you start looking at yourself as a project of your life, you adapt your lifestyle the way that will fit that project. So what are you working on? Who you are becoming? If you don't have that certain idea of, you know, what kind of character you're becoming, what kind of human being you're becoming, you will not feel enthusiastic to make any changes. So every single day will be like, oh, I have, a ma I have many things to do and I don't know where to start. When you find this idea, like, who am I becoming? This is why I am working on myself. This is why I want to learn. This is what books I want to read. This is with what kind of people I want to connect myself. You only do that because you have goals and you have goals because you have a vision and you have a vision because you know that you will never stay who you are today because every single day we are changing. Like we are getting older or we are getting wiser and we have to choose to get wi wiser so as we are aging up we are actually also becoming who we always wanted to be. So when people come to you and say, you see, time is moving really fast, you say back to them, yeah, but many things happened in that time. That's what I always say, because, you know, someone who's uh, not doing much in their lives, they always say, oh, time is moving so fast. And I always say back, yeah, but so many things happened. I, I know for myself, I've grown so much in that time. I've experienced so many changes. I've met so many great people. I got so many great messages. I've made a lot of artwork, many videos. I've done many things in that time. And I think I became a bit better on self-kindness in that time. So I turn it into a reflection. Because if we only look at how much time is passing by, we may miss what actually happened in all that time, right? So never forget that it's not the time that is the problem, but the way you're investing your attention. So you experience what you see and you see what you choose to see. So choose from your vision, choose from your goals, choose from what you want to see in your life, really where you want to go, who you want to become. And it will be really easy then to pick the things you like to do. Because it's not like I like to do 100 different things. It's actually maybe five or six things. And then we wonder like what's more important, what is more valuable, what can maybe create a bigger difference in my life? And it may be five di different things and you can work on five different things. For me, it's not one thing. I'm not just painting. I'm not just a poet or a philosopher. You know, I'm not just making messages. I'm a combination of many different things. And I help people. I'm a coach. I'm coaching people. I'm making videos. I'm running a business. I'm doing many different things. But through the time, as I said, we create a system. But firstly, we have to have a certain vision for that. And when we have a vision, we'll also notice that that vision is taking us towards somewhere. And certain things start growing and evolving in ways we would never predict and then we just follow that wherever it is taking us and we focus more to there so i know many of you may be really really busy and you may say well i don't have so much time for all of that then choose one thing and evolve in that one thing and you will see that one thing will take you to many new next levels 
And during that process, you will find some new things that will inspire you to work on. The point is that you just don't lose yourself in too much because there's not too much, but uh, too little organization, right? And when you take a piece of paper and prioritize, this is the first thing, this is the second, this is the third and so on and so on. You start with the most important one and then you keep up. It depends of how much time you have, how much willpower you have. But of course, will comes with importance once again. So my friends, I hope you found something valuable today. I'm sending you lots of love, blessings and power. Stay beautiful, stay creative. Until next time, one love.